This is the darkest shit, spark of shit Hitting with the hardest shit Cause before we start a shit Rob B. Rob is in the motherfucking building I need it from the top, I need it from the top What's this? D-block, D-block ah. What they gotta do? Turn your radios yeah. up, turn your radios yeah. up Turn your radios yeah. up Talk your shit, grab your gas, call your clip Squeeze your clip, hit the right one Pass that weed, I got the light one Spit your game, talk your shit, grab your gas, call your clip children hurts us and this does not help families like joy says help isn't help if it doesn't help if we need help help us don't hurt us don't separate us don't don't punish us for needing help that's just twisted it's wrong the state gets paid for every child every baby every toddler every teenager every little kid that's separated permanently from their family the state gets four thousand dollars per child there's no bonus for reunification, which should always be the goal if a separation is necessary, which it never is, right. almost never, you know, like, and, and even in extreme cases, it at all costs, parents should be with their kids, kids need their families, just point blank, period, there's no way around it. Good afternoon, everybody, my name is Teresa Monpoint. Yeah, of course. I am the proud mother of nine beautiful children. Um, I was a survivor because never a victim of domestic violence and substance abuse. Uh, my children were removed due to that reason. Um, I complied with everything required of me to have my children back. My service plan has been completed on multiple occasions. Uh, the system wanted me to complete substance abuse counseling. I went above and beyond and, and put myself in a residential treatment facility. It wasn't needed, but it was needed for myself. Um, my urine toxicologies were being tampered with just so they could hold on to my kids. I have three children that have been victims of sexual assault, physical abuse. They were together with my mom, seven of my children. The agency called ACS on her and then proceeded to remove my children from her care without properly following the channels to remove my children and then place my children in a home where ACS was eventually called on that foster parent as well. And they wound up leaving my kids still in the same home after an indicated case was called in. Um, I am the proud mother of seven beautiful daughters and two sons. My son is leaning more towards the gangs now. Some would have never done that if he was home. A second born is so lost he doesn't even know if he's a girl if he's a boy but he just knows he's living he would have known who he was regardless to whatever he would have been he would have known who he was if he was home um as i said service plan has been continued continuously followed through acs is not following the end of the bargain the foster care system is not following the end of the bargain. They're getting paid for our children instead of giving us that money to help support our families. Our children are falling to the wayside. They're ending up in hospitals. My daughter's seven years old and was admitted into a psychiatric facility last summer. 